All right, hi first grade, happy Monday. It's math time. Okay, so on the lesson plans here, here on the lesson plans, we are right here where it says math, and we're doing regrouping, which means carrying over a banker. You take 10 cubes and take them over to the banker, and you trade them, you exchange them for a long. So that's what we're going to be doing by stacking our numbers. That's what regrouping is. Now, um, Mr. Marina put all this together and spent a lot of time on this. Um, we ran out of time at school, so you just have the main math book page numbers there, okay? It is less than 8.1, so you want 8.1 to match. You want 8.1 to match in both books, okay? So let me show you what that means. In my class, we call it koala bear with linker cubes and koala bear with no linker cubes. This is the main math book. It doesn't have enough math practice pages, usually maybe two a day. Um, and then this is homework and remembering the homework. You know it. You've seen it for homework before, all the old ones that we've sent home throughout the year. And the remembering is a spiral review. So spiral review means we're practicing all the old things so they don't fall out of our brain. Okay? So... These page numbers are on, not on there, so you need to pay attention on that to make sure you're matching it. Look for 8.1 at the top corner of this and 8.1 at the top corner of that, okay? So right here, 8.1, and in homework and remembering, you got it, 8.1, okay? So look right there, 8, 8.1. All right, so basically, I'm going to give you a couple um, little examples, not from the book, but um, we're just going to be carrying over, and there's a couple different ways we can do it. The main way, the easiest way, we're stacking them and we're drawing longs and cubes, okay? So, let's go right here. Let's say if it is 48 plus 26, okay? Let's see if that's big enough for everybody to see. Good, nice and big. All right, so T for 10's place, O for 1's place. If you would like to slice it down the middle, you can slice it down the middle. I would just stop right there. The reason I don't come down here is because it might look like a 1, and it might mess up your numbers later on, okay? If you can do it without slicing, good for you. My class likes to slice it. We like to cut it. So T for 10's place, O for 1's place. Now we're going to draw four longs, 1, 2, 3, 4, and two longs, 1, 2. And we're going to draw eight cubes. I know room eight calls them shorts, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And six cubes, six shorts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, remember, when you get to ten, trade it up and move it over. When you get to ten, trade it up and move it over, okay? So we're going to take that to the banker. All right, here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Circle that right there, okay? And it's going to go up and over. We practice this a little bit in room 10. Now, the way I learned it growing up was to put the 10 stick, so you're trading it for a 10. So you're trading the cubes, 10 cubes, for a long, and you put it right there, okay? And that's fine. The way this math book teaches it is to put that here so that you don't forget it, okay? Because what happens, we add four plus two, and then we forget to add this one up there. So the thought is that, okay, well, if it's right here, you're gonna remember it when you're adding because it's right in front of your face when you're adding. So that's how the book does it, okay? Do it whatever works for you. But the most common mistake is four plus two equals six. And then they don't remember to add the one, okay? So I also wanna point out that it's no big deal. It's really just your Let's just see here. It's just your math facts. So if you cut it off that way, it's just your math facts. 4 plus 2 and 8 plus 6. And you know those. You know 4 plus 2 and you know 8 plus 6. So if you can do that, you can do double digit addition like second graders do. Now in second grade, they will be borrowing, saying, hey, I don't have, I don't have enough. And they're going to take and borrow. So we're regrouping and we're moving it over. We're building a 10. In second grade, you're going to learn that when you don't have enough, you're going to borrow, and they're going to break apart the 10 back into cubes. You'll do that in second grade, okay? But pretty easy concept. I promise it's not hard. Just go through the little steps, and there's other math things that we do every year that lots of kids struggle with. This isn't one of them, okay? It's new, but it's not hard, I promise you, okay? And we pretty much do it the way your parents um, grew up doing it also, okay? So we've got that 10 right there, and I'm going to bring it over 
drop it right there. There's one more. There's a one ten. So we have four tens, two tens, and one ten. I got one ten from these ten cubes. So you don't want to leave them. I'm going to cross them off because they're trading. Well, what do you have left over? Here we go. A one, two, three, four, right here. Okay. Now we've got one, two, three, four, one, two. And if you want to draw for that one, there's another long right there. So we've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, four plus two, four plus two, four, five, six. Eat the six, six plus one, right there. Six plus one, six, seven. Okay, so, and there it is right there. For me, it kind of bothers me to have it down there. I kind of like to have it up here, but you will see the book putting it down there. Do whatever works for you, as long as you don't forget. You don't want to do this. Do, 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 four plus two, six. That's the most common mistake. That's what Puzzled Penguin will do all the time, okay? So, four plus two, and you want to put the one right there? Go for it. Four plus two, just remember to go up here. Four plus two is six. Six plus one is seven, okay? You are welcome. I forgot to say you have whiteboards and you have markers. Just use a tissue. Don't use that toilet paper because we know toilet paper is so hard to find. Get a rag, get a washcloth. You know what works really good? An old sock that has a hole in it the, or a sock that doesn't have a match. We use those sometimes in the classroom if kids keep losing their um, black erasers. So we did not pack you a black eraser. Mrs. Bennett ordered everything else for you and you got scissors and glue sticks and crayons and you had everything else. Um, we just didn't um, pack those. Okay, so just use a rag or something or a sock at home, okay? So four plus two is six, six plus one is seven. So 48 plus 26 equals 74, okay? You do have that number line I sent home and not just like the number grid, you know, your regular number grid, let me grab that. Okay, you have your regular number grid right here, okay? And you also have the number line that I sent home and I'll dig that out later, but it goes, um, I think it has 20 in a line, so it goes 20 and then from 21 to 40, all the way down to 100, okay? So it's rows of 20 instead of rows of 10. In the class, we know a number line is gonna go all the way across the wall. You are welcome to cut that number line that we gave you. You're welcome to cut it and string it out like that as long as it doesn't get damaged, okay? I'm just worried that it's gonna get messed up. So if you wanted to, you could start on 48, do 26 hops, and you will land on 74, okay? So based on what we know about how we jump down for 10, 10 more we jump down. Well, I have two tens. So I'm at 48, I'm gonna start on 48, right here, starting on 48 and jumping down, one ten, two tens. And then we made another 10, didn't we? So it was four plus two, okay? Two tens plus one more 10. So we're on 48 plus 10 plus 20 and one more 10, Okay, right there, okay? So we had 48 plus 10 plus 20. And don't forget, it wasn't just, it wasn't just that. It wasn't that alone. There's another 10 right there, okay? So 48, 10, 20, 30, because we added three tens. The two and the one makes a three. We added three tens, okay? So, and then what do we have left over in the ones place? That's right, we had a four. So we're gonna jump over four. Here we go, ready? Here we go. Uh, let's see, Mrs. White's, oh, Mrs. White got her fingers all messed up there. All right, so we're going 10, 20, okay? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. It's a little hard when I'm trying to do it backwards on here, so I think Mrs. White jumped down one too many cells. Okay, so 48 plus 26, okay? So we're going 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Much better if I just look at it this way. I was trying to do it this way without looking. So, all right, 48 plus 26, you can see on the number grid, it is 74. On the number line, you would be hopping and you would literally go one hop, two hops, three hops, four hops, five hops, six hops, seven hops, eight hops, you know, that kind of thing, all the way to 26 hops. So 48 plus 26 equals 74. All right, let's try a couple more. All right, let's actually go into this, okay? That looks a little different. It's not the usual strategy that, um, you know, I was raised doing and your parents probably didn't do this strategy. It's a little different. 
Um, I'd like to just get whiteboards and practice a whole bunch of the stacking, okay? Um, a whole bunch of just stacking that. So I think, you know what, we'll just do more practices of that. And we'll get into this on the math book when um, I do the math book page video, okay? So this is just showing you what we're doing this week. The whole unit is on um, regrouping. It's on tens and ones and regrouping, building tens and adding in the ones place and adding down in the tens place, okay? So we'll save this for the video um, that's coming up next, okay? So this is just the concept of how to do it. So let's just do a bunch of examples. If you wanna grab your whiteboard, go ahead and pause the screen and get your whiteboard and, and go along with me, okay? All right, let's do another one. T for tens place, O for ones place. Let's say 39 plus 17, okay? So I've got three tens, one, two, three, and one ten, one. Notice I don't put it close over here. I don't want it to look like 11, okay? And then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine plus seven, nine, ten. Oh, there we go, you got it, right there. Nine, ten. So there's your ten. Let's go ahead and count all the way through. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we didn't talk about on the last one. Here we go, 16. The one goes here and the six goes there. There's your 16. We didn't talk about that in the last one. 16, one and six, okay? Over here, maybe in the corner, uh, maybe, let's see, I'll just do the corner here. So 16, so T for 10 space, O for 1 space. Here's 16, I want you to look at that. Okay, 1, 10, and 6 ones. A long and 6 cubes, 6 shorts, okay? So, you got 16 right here, 16, a 1 and a 6. You are trading, so that went up and over. So when you get to 10, remember? When you get to 10, trade it up and move it over, okay? So we've got 10 moving over, it becomes a long, and that's gone. What do we have left over? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's that six that we dropped, okay? So you carry, you carry the one over to the tens place and drop this number. So you carry the 10, drop the ones. Carry the long, drop the cubes, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, and there's the one right there. You can draw it over here. Don't draw them close together. So we've got three plus one is four, plus one is five. Three plus one, plus one. Three plus two, three. Three plus two, three, four, five, okay? And our answer is 56, okay? So let's just do some more like that on our whiteboard. I want you to get used to doing it this way. When you see it with the little tree thing that they're gonna do in the book, First time I saw that in this math book, it was different than our other math book, and I thought, what, what is that? It's a 10 frame turned flipped up, okay? So they took that 10 frame that we've done in class and they flipped it up this way, okay? And this math book hasn't done a whole lot of 10 frames, so it's a little wackadillio that they decided to include that. But um, I don't know about room seven and room eight, but room 10, we've practiced a lot of 10 frame like at math stations and stuff like that, because I know that 10 frame is important. All right, let's do some other practice ones, okay? T for 10 space, O for one space. How about 25 plus 35? Do you see what's gonna happen? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two longs and three longs. What's gonna happen? You know it, this one, I always say, you're walking around with this on your hands all the time. It's 10. Are you gonna have any leftovers? I can't hear you, are you gonna have any leftovers? No, no leftovers. And up and over, drop it, and it turns into a long. Make sure you slash it. Oh, Mrs. White wanna slash, it looks like I cut it in half, huh? That's a weird slash. I should slash it diagonally. It looks like I just chopped it like a pizza. All right, slash it so you're getting rid of it. What do you have left over? Zero, okay, nothing's left over, so there's your zero. Up and over, there's the one ten. So you traded ten cubes for a long. So that's a number one, so you, there's your number one, there's your number two, and there's your three. I'm gonna move Mr. Pencil out of the way there, that's for our sound spelling time for reading. So we've got our two, our three, and our one. I've got two longs for the two, three longs for the three, one long for the one, okay, so it all matches. All right, so you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Or you can go three plus two, three plus two, three, four, five, eat the five, oh, 
five plus one, five, six. Okay, you can do it that way. We have done a little bit of practice with that in class, a little tiny bit of three plus two plus one, adding three one digit numbers. Okay, like nine plus six plus four. We've done a little bit of that. I think we did it with um, some linker cube little pages where it had linker cubes on there um, and it would have three different numbers that we're adding up. So we've done it a little bit. All right, you'll notice that we're going straight into unit eight. We were last on unit five. Unit eight does double digit addition and we just started kind of playing around with that at the end of unit five. Unit six is data and graphs and things like that and super fun and easy. There's some hopping and how much more, how much less. Um, that's the only hard part, but everything else is pretty easy. And unit seven is geometry, um, measurement, and time. So they're kind of cut apart. So unit five that we just finished right before school, um, right before school closed, unit five kind of goes along with unit eight. So we're jumping from five to eight, and then we'll go back and do six and seven because those are typically easier, okay? All right, so what's my whole number? 60. If you look on that number grid, we're starting on 25. Now, if you want to start on the bigger number, 35, and do 25 hops, you can, but just because it's on the top, I'm going to go ahead and start with that first. 25 plus 35, okay? So we're on 25 plus 35. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And there it is right there, okay? All right, erase your whiteboards. And let's do another practice. T for 10's place, O for 1's place. And I think I'm going to move that down a little bit. I don't quite have enough space to drop that 10 like I would like to. There we go. Oops, this is why I'll just drew her plus sign. All right, how about 37 plus 48? Okay, all right. So we have three 10's, four 10's. We have seven cubes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, here we go. You're going to go seven plus eight or eight plus seven? I'm going to do eight plus seven. Eight, nine, ten. And when you get to ten, trade it up and move it over. Here we go. Up and over and drop it. There you go. There's your one. I'm going to draw that. That's one, ten. That's the digit three. That's the digit one and digit four. I'm going to draw that 10 stick over here, okay? So slash that because we already carried it over. What's left over? One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to come down, okay? And that's going to come down. So maybe I'll do it with another marker just so you can see what's coming down and what's going over. This goes down, okay? All right, so four plus three plus seven. What's four plus three? Four five, six, seven, lock in your brain, seven, seven plus one, don't want to forget it, seven, eight, good, so count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we have 85, let's try that on our number grid, okay, let's try that on our number grid, oh, wait, hang on, we didn't talk about it, eight plus seven equals 15, okay, 8 plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? 8 plus 7 is 15. So there's your 15 right there, a 1 and a 5. So that 1 was the 10 that we built when we traded, and that 5 was the leftover, okay? So what we are doing, we're doing, when we're adding, I'm building a 10 first. Remember we practiced building a 10 in all the worksheets, and it was like 7 plus 8 equals 15, and that is the same as, remember, is the same as 10 plus 5. 7 plus 8 is the same as, ready, 7 plus 8 is the same as 10 plus 5. So that's what we did, okay? So all of that was getting us ready for this. 7 plus 8 equals 15, okay? And you have 4 plus 3 plus 1 equals 8. And if you count that here, there's our 8 there. Let's do it on the number grid. 37 plus 48 I think I want to do 48 plus 37. I always like to start with a bigger number. All right, starting on 48, and we're going to add 37. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. There it is right there. All right. And let's do one more. I'm going to do lots and lots and lots more. 
but you know, we can only do so much videotaping or it takes forever to load on the video. All right, T for 10's place, O for 1's place. How about 23 plus 19, okay? So we got two 10's, one 10, three little ones, three cubes, three shorts, and nine cubes. Nine little ones, nine shorts. Longs, longs and shorts, longs and cubes, okay? Um, 10 sticks and dots, okay? So here we go. So nine plus three, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12, so watch this, one, two, it's 12, right there, okay? So you're gonna build that 10, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Build that 10, up and over. And what do we have left over? One, two, see, there it is. So you can do it either way. You can do this part first or that part first, but I do want you to see that you did make 12. Nine plus three equals 12. So nine plus three is the same as 10 plus two. Nine plus three is the same as 10 plus two, okay? So adding that, so we've got a two digit, a one digit, and a one digit. So I've got two longs, one long, and I need, you guessed it, another long, okay? Count it all the way through, one, two, three, four. Two plus one equals three. Three plus one more equals four. I hope in your brain you can see two plus two. I hope you can see that, okay? 23 plus 19, let's go ahead and do it on the number grid. 23 plus 19. 23 plus 19, here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 42. Ding, 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 ding. And we have the right answer, okay? Stay tuned for the next video. This is just showing you how to do it. The next video we're going to do, you need to pay attention, do the next video. It's gonna show you how to do this. It might be a little confusing. The first time I did it a couple years ago, we got these new math books. I thought, what is that? So I will explain how to do that, okay? All right, we'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.